Alright everyone, how are you guys doing? In this video I am going to be testing out Photoshop CS6 on the new 13 inch Haswell MacBook Air. So much to say I even forgot almost, but let's load up um, Photoshop. This is of course a trial version, so yeah, it's not a fake one as you would otherwise say in the comments. But uh, let's go ahead and load up some files. Um, file open might even help. And we're going to import some PSD files, and these are quite heavy files. Uh, some are over 150 meg, some are 200 meg. So let's go ahead and open them, let's see how long it takes. There we go. One, two, three. This is a heavy one. So those of you who are in the Photoshop biz know exactly how long that is and that is that, I think. Let's go ahead and do the same now with some JPEG files and these are about 60 odd files uh, ranging in size, most of them are in KBs and there we go. Voila! So it's detected a PNG file, okay. So the JPEGs of course because they're smaller in size they're opening up much faster whereas the PSD files, hmm, not so cool. So here are some files, let's try and do some effects with them, put some filters on and see if they make a difference. Hmm, don't really like that filter. Let's go ahead and do some tiles. On you go, son. Hey, nifty, eh? Let's just do some random ones that uh, stylize wind. There we go. So hopefully this is becoming, uh, or this is familiar to those of you who use this application in a day-to-day -day biz. How about if I even zoom in? Will that help you guys? I think it will. Twirl, I like that one. Way, that's pretty cool. Lens flare, I believe is gonna be pretty beastly. Wow, there we go. That's a pretty neat photo I can call myself uh, a Photoshop expert now, officially. So let's now try something different. Let's go into 3D, new mesh from layer, and how about a donut, because I could do with a Krispy Kreme. And it's loading up. Well, hey, hey. So hopefully one of you, you know, experts out there can leave in the comments below whether um, this is helping or not. So that I know for future tests. <clears throat> Sphere. Hmm, pretty nifty. Can I change this about maybe? I was hoping if I move this about it would show me something different. Oh, there we go. We've got something 3D. Cool. Cool story, bruh. Yeah, did you see that uh, ball? Let's try and move. I'm trying to rotate this. I don't think I'm doing it right. Pretty sure I'm not because it's not moving for starters. Right, let's just go back before I just uh, create a mess of it. Or how about I just go to a new file. Let's take, let's take the man himself, Brian Singer, wearing a cool eye gear hoodie. And let's mess about with some more layers. Uh, oh, wine bottle. Well, right, hey. Nifty. Um, let's take this image here, something different. How do I go back? Okay. There we go. 3D, new mesh from layer, and last one, let's go to two sided. Voila! So let's try and save this now and see. Um, 
can I save it in TIFF format? I believe that is the highest quality you can get. Then again, you guys are going to slate me in the comments below, so hey, <laughs> it's not if that's anything new. And yeah, cool, yep, Incre including layers will increase the file size. And that's it, loading. Is it done? Nope, it's still loading the beach ball and it's done. Here it is on the desktop here. There you go. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope this Photoshop test has helped. Um, if it hasn't, I'm sure you guys are going to let me know in the comments below. What are the tests you want to see on this new Haswell MacBook Air? Um, leave your suggestions then below. And as always, I shall see you guys in another life. Cheers!